But 5:30, Indiana's attorney general is joining the FTC and the Better Business Bureau to introduce new plans to strengthen the state's consumer protection laws. The group is aiming to address some of the most common scams that threaten your money. RTV6 State House reporter Katie Hines is live with us now to explain more about this. Katie. One of the top complaints the Indiana Attorney General's office receives has to do with scams dealing with home repair, and another is for illegal debt collections. Attorney General Greg Zeller is proposing three ideas to cut down on potential consumer fraud. The first is creating a voluntary registration system for home improvement contractors. We're told this is an idea the Indiana Professional Licensing Agency has been studying, too. A contractor would be required to post a bond to cover customers if state law is violated and the public could view the list online. The second idea is aimed at improving transparency in the debt collection process. Zeller proposes additional state protections that would require debt collectors to immediately identify themselves and disclose where the debt is in the conversation. And the third idea is to stiffen the penalties for people who target veterans, spouses of deceased veterans and the disabled for scams. It really focuses on uh, having additional penalties on areas where uh, the consumer fraud is being perpetrated against people who are specifically vulnerable. The Indiana Attorney General is uh, asking the General Assembly to approve these ideas when they return in January, and all of them would need lawmakers' approval. Reporting live outside the State House, Katie Hines, RTV6. A new advice